Oh, hey everybody, Lil Farmer 73 here. And what I wanted to do was have a quick discussion with you. It's morning time, I just woke up not too long ago. Um, and I'm on my way to, uh, not Athens, Georgia. My brain, that I'm just waking up. I ain't had my coffee, nothing. So, um, I'm just waking up and I'm heading to, damn, where the heck is it? I'm heading to Georgia in, in a few minutes here after I go uh, put some soap on it in a minute. I want to discuss something with you guys. And uh, yes, I'm, I'm in the greenhouse lounge and I'm with my bunnies. Clyde is crazy. I'm just going to put that out there, right out the gate. Bunny is real scary and skittish. And uh, I can see I can see right now, Clyde done went through his water. So I'm going to get that, and then we're going to talk. My man drink water like crazy. He, he pee like a pregnant woman. Now, Bunny, on the other hand, that's a whole other ball game. We're going to talk about the bunnies in another episode because... I got a lot of stuff that I'm, I'm figuring out for myself and starting to find out on my own that's just blowing my mind. Number one, I'm going to say this, if y'all can hear me, I got you Clyde. Okay, I'm sorry y'all. He was totally out of water, totally. Um, good morning. Get this. Number one, <clears throat> I'm finding out something that's kind of really, really bugging me. Um, if 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 you're gonna be growing rabbits for meat, now we're gonna be talking about soda, but I gotta get this out of the way. <clears throat> if you're gonna be growing bunnies for meat and stuff, Black's Tropical Homestead did say one thing that I never it never occurred to me. Um Bunnies, these that I see, and I've only been doing this for a few days, I'm going to tell you something. They're so smart. They recognize us in everything. Bunny doesn't like me. She likes Lady Led. Clyde is crazy, so he likes me. Um, they, they just know. And they're aware and everything. So that kind of mess, you know, that messes with me up here. As far as that, that's neither here nor there. I ain't gonna talk about that right now, <laughs> because yes, uh, Black Trap Homestead man. Good morning to y'all. They're very smart. I didn't know. I di I didn't know. I knew. You know. I thought bunny little bunny rabbit hopping through the woods, hopping through the forest. You know, picking up chipmunks, bumping them on the head type. Of. No man. This this is a whole nother ball game. So that's where this all leads me. I hope y'all can hear me okay. Matter of fact, I need some water. I, I'm literally just waking up. Um, okay. So I'm gonna tell y'all what what I've come to come to think right now. Number one, wooden, wooden uh, hutches. Is almost like you you putting a a big man and enclosing him in a house made of cookies. To rabbits, this wood is a snack. So I got a feeling, just like Escape from Alcatraz, if I just let them have at have have at it, they eat out of this. I'ma show y'all this. So it's better that if I show y'all what's going on. I got a feeling if I just left them, they'll be eating themselves out of this in about 30 days, the way it looked. If they really wanted to get out of here, they can get out. Because they bite this um, wood like it's licorice to them. It's nothing. It's nothing. So, okay. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and get right into what we're here for. Um... I'm running all kind of experiments in this tiny house. 
every day. Now, this is stuff that I knew from reality, but now you get a chance to see it firsthand, firsthand. Okay, one of the things that we talked about a while back, right? I just ran into that problem. I just ran into the problem of, watch this, no solar. I want you to see this. Let me see if you can see this. I got 1% on my EcoFlow 1800. I got, I got 1%. I hope y'all can see that. 1% of energy. I got, I think I got 40% on my uh, EcoFlow River, I got about 54% on the Energizer 2000. I got the Jackery, no, it's the, the little Energizer P320 got about 40% on it and I'm charging it through here. Now stick with me, the reason I'm doing all this because the sun is just now kind of coming out. All, I don't have much running in here. I, right now, I'm at the bare minimum. I'm running a fan for the bunnies. I run two little direct USB fans for the bunnies on their cage. That's pretty much all that's running besides this refrigerator freezer. And at night, I leave on that ring light and I leave it on really low. Okay, that's where we're at. So what I wanted to let you guys know, in a grid down situation, off grid, grid down, tiny house, I don't care what you wanna call it, right now I stand, I stand by, defin definitely stand by, get as, Get as many generators as you can, solar. Get as many solar panels as you can. Get, if you're gonna put a, if you're gonna just be staying in one spot, get a system, build your system for one spot. And here's the other thing. Oh, get as many solar panels as you possibly can. Here's the biggest, biggest thing I'm gonna show you right now. Do not sleep on your gas generator. Period. That Honda is a beast. That Honda is actually running everything in here right now. Everything. That Honda, I got everything plugged up to it right now. You still can't hear it running. It's only about 10 feet away from us. So that Honda generator is charging everything back up because the, so, the sun has not been out for two days. It was overcast here in South Carolina, for solid for two days. No real rain, but just a thick, thick overcast for the last two and a half days, two days, two and a half days. So here's the thing with that. It was with that overcast day, with that overcast day, it was it was mild on the temperature. So it stayed around in this in this shed it stayed around 80 degrees or around 79, 80 degrees with the fan running at, at 12 noon, 1 o'clock. But I'm th this is still spring. I'm thinking heat of the summer, end of July, I mean end of June, all of July. You gonna catch hell. So you want these fans running. It also, while it's charging everything in here, that Honda is also, I have my AC running because around two o'clock yesterday, it was 89 degrees inside of this shed. So with, with 89 degrees, I came in here because the door was closed. I came in here and they was panting like crazy. So the problem with that, they say they don't like it too hot. You you can see when, when it's hot, they don't like it, right? So I needed that 
air condition running and I don't leave this door, this big door, this barn door open because of snakes. Snakes can get in this cage and have a field day with them if they want to eat them and I don't want to have, I don't want that. I'm not ready for that yet, okay? So I close this door whenever I get the chance. So I need air circulation coming in at all times. So I was running the AC on high, running all the fans and everything and it drained down all of my generators. So boom, with all my generators and everything running, your power gonna go down. But you ain't got no sunlight to keep recharging your solar panels. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep on showing you so it's better to show you. I got four, I got have 400 watts coming in for my smaller generators. And I got 400 watts coming in all the way back there on the island for my big generators. It's not enough. It's, it's, it's nice. That's okay on a half decent day. And you're not really doing anything. But if you're running, um, put the bunnies in the back. But if you're running, um, there we go. But if you, mm, that light is banging. I guess I can't win. But if you're, if you need to run all these fans and stuff, that's not going to be enough on a cloudy day. I'm being realistic. There's no insulation on the walls, no drywall, no nothing, no roof. The, I mean, no, the ceiling ain't dropped or nothing. So that's the, that's the actual rooftop right there with all the heat banging on it. So with the realization of how this is going, you need a backup to your backup. The reason why I say, listen, that this is until we, until technology moves forward a little bit more. What's up, broke farmer? Until technology moves forward a little farther, I'm talking about y'all in the next five years or so, if we all still blessed to be here. Technology is going to have to kick it up a notch to run full solar and let it be undeniably dependable. Like everybody is buying electric cars and electric, you know, vehicles. It's still not, it's still not 100% dependable because every time I go and see a, I'm at a, a big box store, a separate decent gas station, they have those electric vehicle hookups where you can refuel, recharge your vehicles. They're not getting the mileage on those vehicles that people said they're supposed to be getting, the manufacturer said. So it's this one, I'm not kidding, it's a Ford, it looked like a Mustang, but it got a hatchback, so I don't know what it is. It's, it's like, it looked like a Ford Mustang GT, but it got a hatchback. It's beautiful, it's a beautiful car. But I see this red car at Walmart, every time I go, plugged into that recharging station. And for the life of me, I'm always like, what's the deal with that? Like, they always run out of juice that much? Or they shop here a lot? I don't know. But all I know is electric or solar is not 100% dependable yet. So with that being said, if your electric and your solar ain't 100% dependable yet, where does that leave us? Back to using fuel. Now, not saying we need to use fossil fuels or anything like that. We don't got to go back to mining coal and, and, and crazy stuff like that. But what we need to do is think of an alternative to our alternative solutions, which is, you know, corn, grow corn, make fuel, you know. We, we need to start really thinking about that for real because it's getting to a point it's getting to a point where we all see the truth solar is solar is going to be the future but it's not here yet and I'm running this little scenario and I'm not even really using no major appliances I don't got a bunch of TVs and all this stuff um hooked up and the only thing I'm using to cook is this hot plate 
uh, I cooked some some breakfast in here the other day, and all I used was this hot plate. But this hot plate uses about the hot plate uses about six hundred watts, right? So if the hot plate is using six hundred watts. Your coffee maker will use anywhere, a plain cheap coffee maker will use 800 watts. Do you want to make coffee with, do you want to make coffee with this? If, if this is using 800 watts of your 2000 watt solar uh, power station, no. So you want to start looking into things like either cowboy coffee, making your coffee right in a, a pan with overheat or get you a percolator get you a good percolator yeah that's not just a song in hip-hop time for the percolator it's it's a real thing okay to brew your coffee or your tea fill that up put your coffee in here i had one a long time ago put your coffee in this basket put the lid on this is what how i seen coffee being made when i was a kid everybody put it on the percolator and put it on the stove and that's how they did it. If that's how you're gonna get your coffee and your tea, you know? So, hey, SEI Family Garden, what's up, brother Rob? So, we need alternatives to our solar alternative. Don't, we ain't ready to give up yet. I'm not saying go back to, let's just stick with fossil fuels and let's just, I'm not saying that. I'm saying, there still is other alternatives of fuels that can be clean fuels that can be that can be burned or used in place of fossil fuels and we'll still come out winning. So until we we figure this in this solar stuff out, you can't get rid of this. We can't get rid of this. I don't care what we do. So right there, I'm, I'm, I'm saying my word is as I'm running this living it right this very minute, no, no, because that that gas generator, that's a two 2,000 watt um, gas generator. There's no electricity without coal where, where you're, listen, what you just did, Jan, uh, Janie, I'm going to be honest with you, sweetheart, okay? What you just did was show your IQ. If there is no I I electricity without coal, I need you to understand that. Now, you was bold enough to say your statement, and I'm going to be bold to answer you. If that's what you think, you have, you have no knowledge whatsoever on this situation. I'm going to be honest with you. If you think we need to burn coal to get electricity... I'm going to just I'm just going to stop you right there. I me am living proof that you don't. If it was legal for me to show you, I would show you that I can make electricity without burning any fossil fuels. I can make electricity with just the stuff that I have in my my garden. The problem with us is we bit out stuff that we don't know anything about. If you don't know what you're talking about before you say stuff, go read it. Go Google it. Read about it. Don't listen to what other people say. Don't listen to me. Just go, go do it yourself. I promise you. I promise you, Janie. Janie, uh, I see where you're coming from. Good day, Janie. Have a nice day, Janie. Because I'm telling y'all, there's, there's people like that that come in and want to just stir me up. And I'm not going to let that phase us right now because the, I don't want nobody disturbing the truth. The truth is, now this isn't no, I read about it. I looked it up. This is, I have done it. I know that I can, I can run that generator right there off of food out of my garden. I can't tell you how I can do that. 
It's not legal for me to tell you that. But I have done it before. So I know, for instance, I'm going to say this and I'm going to leave it alone. For everybody that was losing their minds when we was all out of uh, uh, hand sanitizer, remember that? Hand sanitizer, people was knocking each other, up, or other over the head about uh, hand sanitizer. I wasn't. If you don't know how to make your own hand sanitizer, you already in trouble. If you don't know how to sterilize, if you don't know how to make the things to sterilize your environment in a, in a how can I put, germ-infested or bacteria-infested situation that we've been in over the last two and a half years, you already are a few steps behind. If you, the first thing everybody should have started learning during the first two years of this mess, the first one year of this mess, how to make your own, I can't say the word, hand sanitizer, if you get what I'm saying. If you didn't learn that in two years, you are two and three and four or five steps behind the game. All that was for the last two years was, was practice. All that was was a test. And now the grades are coming back. Did you pass or did you fail? What did you learn from the last two years? Did you pass or did you fail? That's what, did you start growing food? Did you start prepping? Did you start getting equipment? Did you start purchasing books and not just rely on the internet? Did you get all the stuff you need? Did you learn anything from said books? Like how to make your hand sanitizer. Hey, Carbon Q. Did you get anything from that? If you didn't, you're steps behind and you're going to keep talking like that young lady that was just in here. Probably ain't a young lady. All we need to burn coal for everything. You must be foaming at the mouth crazy to think that. I am living proof that you don't. Not that I researched it. Not that I looked into it. Not my great elder told me no I have done it if you don't know how to make one of these gas generators or gas small gas engine two cycle engines work with other things you are a hundred steps behind the game if it was legal for it is listen family it's not legal for people to show you alternative means of energy People are disappearing. So, hell no, I ain't going to show you. Do you, I did my research and, and ran my test. I figured it out. You do it too. Plain and simple, man. I feel sorry for those, those few dudes keep coming up missing. Man, you got a good thing. You better shut up. <coughs> Telling you. No. I, and I'm gonna use it like this. I'm 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 gonna use it like this. True story. Why, when you drive down the street, why do you see that dude out there, out there in the, in a monkey suit or something, or or in a uh, Statue of Liberty suit, flipping signs like this? Yay! Hey! Hey! Ooh! Come over here. Let us do your taxes. Woo! Whippity boo! Why do you see that guy? Think about it. Why do you see that crazy people? They don't care who they put in those suits. It could be a homeless person, person off the street. They look awful. They smell awful. They don't care. They'll put them in their suits and they tell them, go out by the curb, by the busiest part of, dangerous most part of traffic and make a fool out of yourself. Make yourself the biggest spectacle that you could possibly make. I'm going to tell you why. Because they need people to come in. They can't see the pizza place back there in the corner. They can't see that the, they do taxes inside this fishing grits shop. They can't see that there's a, a, a what, what is that, a, a notary republic inside of this shoe store. 
So they need a fool to go out to the curb and make a fool out of himself. So you can be like, what is he doing? And then you catch him flipping the sign and say, Notary Republic, uh, Timmy's Pizza, free taxes. There is no different from that with a business sense than real life. Think about this. If you won't know unless somebody tell you. There you go. Those people need people to come in. So they don't want you to go down the road and see the big tax place. They don't want you to go see the big pizza place that's right on the edge of the road. They need you to come in. No different with this. They need you in there. So if you start running your mouth and telling other corporations that you got a, a better recipe, the recipe is free, we handing out samples, and forget that we teaching everybody else how to make it too, like KFC chicken. The secret recipe is people out there keep saying, I know the secret recipe, and I'm giving it out for free. They channels don't last long. Guess what? I know the secret recipe too. I'll never tell. <laughs> I used to work at KFC when I was a kid. I'll never say a word. Because the people that keep talking about something, they know the secret sauce. They come up stinking somewhere. They come up missing. Or they channel me. Like, I wonder what happened to uh, Winnie the Cook. She told us 13 herbs and spices. Messed up. So... What I'm saying is, I know how to pull this off. Do you? I'm not going to say nothing about it. I'm not telling nobody just in case they watch me. I'm keeping it to myself. Plain and simple. So I promise you, hey, Starduster, you guys, you need to find another alternative uh, question. Hey, Lee, good morning. Hello, Chad. Would you buy a refurbished solar generator? Absolutely not. Okay, no, let me back that up. Let me back that up. Would I buy a refurbished, a refurbished solar generator? Here's my answer to that. Do you know how to fix a solar generator? That's my answer. Do you know how to open up a solar power generator, a SPG? Do you know how to open one up? <clears throat> reconnect burned wires or crossed wires or whatever re replace an inverter inside of it do you know how to do that that's my question to you uh, i think that was jessica rabbit i think something like that if 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 you do then yes is my answer if you don't then no is my answer here's another thing if it's only like $20 more to buy a brand new, everything you can't be a stickler on. Because that $20, even though it saved you money, that same $20 might cost you the money where you have to ship that some bitch back to the place. Some things just ain't worth it. If you can't fix it yourself, then absolutely not. Should you buy a used car? Can you fix it yourself? People don't be thinking about that. This is what I told my kids. And this is why I showed my kids how to fix their own vehicles. If you don't know how to fix it, you might as well buy your new one. Buy a new one. You know why? Because if you buy a used car that's really good and used, you don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're listening for. You don't know what you're smelling. Like I keep smelling something inside. Oh, you leaking fluid. Or oh, what's that ticking sound? Your muffler is dragging. If you don't know all of the stuff or a lot of the stuff about your car, don't buy a used. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because if you buy a used car and you don't know what the hell you're doing, you're gonna spend just as much money taking the car back and forth to the damn shop. You're gonna spend just as much money and waste more amount of time trying to fix a 20 year old car than just buying a new one. It's gonna equal the same amount of money. It's gonna equal the same amount of money. 
even though you're nickel and diamond, that 20 year old rust bucket, you're nickel and diamond it. Every time you go to the shop, you know, it's an instant $200 fee just for them to bring it in the garage. And that's saying a lot. It's an instant just to look at it. That's $200. Put it on the machine, that's going to be $200. To actually fix it, parts and labor. Every labor per hour is probably like $500 an hour. So if you're going to if you don't know what you're doing, don't buy a used car. If you know how to change your own tires, if you know how to change your own oil, you know what to listen for, transmission noises, engine noises, coolant smells, fluid smells, you know how to change a brake line. If you know how to do all that stuff, you go for it. Go for it because that will actually save you money in the long run. Because you will usually, for a used car, you will own it. I didn't even mention that. If you buy a used car and you're making payments on it and it's still a piece of crap, that means not only is you paying a car note, you're paying insurance. I ain't going to count insurance because you're going to do that anyway. You're paying a car note and you're paying for it to get fixed every five seconds. You could have bought a Tesla. You could have bought a, a, a Mercedes. You could have bought anything you wanted after the time over five years of spending every nickel on a 25-year-old car. It don't even make any sense. So um, I'm going to get in here and I'm going to get out because I, I didn't want to be in here long. I just want you guys to know my ultimate answer should you buy a solar power generator, a SPG is what I'm calling them, or should you buy a gas generator? My answer is both. My answer is both. What is my thoughts on aquaponics for commercial or non-commercial use? Um, I don't have any thoughts whatsoever on, on aquaponics right now. My, the question, what is your thoughts? What do you want to do? Because my thoughts ain't going to help you. I promise you. I say buy a gas generator. A good gas generator, mind you. Do your research. Get a good one. Spend a few more dollars on a gas generator. Because, again, I'm going to say this like I always say. Your life depends on that. Your life is going to depend on that thing. Right now, these bunny lives uh, uh, depend on it. If I, if I skimp out right now on, on everything, they're going to die. They're going to die out here if I, if I go cheap and not have backup. Because right now, for the last two days, it got so crucial they was breathing so hard, I almost took them out of here just to get them outside in the breeze. So that got me thinking, right? That got me thinking about, think about it. What if that was me and I had a, a brand new baby in this shed? A lot of people are moving off grid. You buying pieces of rural land somewhere and you put a shed on it. You may end up having a child. That's what some folks don't think about that for some reason. Just because you got a tiny house don't mean you ain't going to have no babies. You'll be in this tiny house and you end up popping out two babies over a couple of years. And then you got to start building on to this tiny house whether you want to or not. Especially if you plan on trying to have three, uh, uh, two more babies because these other two babies are standing there looking at you and daddy want to have some a long time and y'all looking at each other across the room in this 12 by 16 like why don't y'all go out in the in the field and play dad it's it's two in the morning yeah i know <laughs> well me and your mama want to do some exercises or something why don't y'all why don't y'all go up there and see check for leaks on the roof you, you're gonna still need some extra space in a tiny house a lot, I've seen a lot of YouTube channels buy a little tiny house, you know. <laughs> they was newlyweds or boyfriend, girlfriend. Next thing you know, they got in this little cabin and pumped out two babies. 
Then they start going, well, we're thinking about moving back to the city because now we got little Ryan and we got little Jessica and yeah, you know, let's be for real, you know. You in a little small space, even in a little small apartment. You go tell your kids, y'all going over to your, going over next door to Aunt Millie house. Her house smell like pee, dad. Go on over there and ask her to make y'all some cookies or something. No, ain't no Miss Millie house when you in rural area. Ain't no go over to your cousin house when you in a tiny house and you in, no, in the middle of nowhere. Nowhere. <laughs> so all you got is you, you better start building on extra little rooms. Y'all go out there sleeping in that tent I put up. It's tent night. Yay, yeah, yeah, yay. Go out there. Me and your mama going to come in here and do some uh, yoga like uh, Stardust or two. We about to do some Pilates. <laughs> so don't come in here because you're going you gonna to mess up our concentration. You know we got to be in tune with the earth. So don't come in here. Knock first if it's an emergency. Knock twice if it ain't. Knock, knock once if it's an emergency. Knock twice if it ain't. And wait for us to give you the green light. This Pilates is rough. So, <laughs> tick night. Y'all, go, let's go, let's go. So, any questions before I go? Yeah, Starduster 2's yoga. I've been seeing Starduster 2 do, doing her yoga and her Pilates and stuff. Yeah. Like me and your mama about to do some Pilates, some yoga. Don't come in here neither. You're going to break our concentration. We're, we're trying to become one with the earth. And the father, don't not right now. So uh, I want to do some yoga, not until you're 18. Y'all go outside. Y'all go outside. The kid will be looking at you. 18. Go outside. Go outside. Run around the shed 12 uh, at least 100 times. Make this quick. <laughs> so, um, yes, yes. Exercise your mind and your body. Any any questions before I go? Because this wasn't gonna be a long one. I just want you to see, I can't I can't just function with one big generator. I'm gonna even tell you this. I used to think buying that uh what is that that gigantic EcoFlow that 3600 job. That's one of the biggest solar power generators on the market, the EcoFlow. I'ma go ahead and get that. I'ma go ahead and get that. Because it's still mobile. I still need it to be mobile. But at the same time, it will give me even more power than, than you think. You use, let me wipe this off. You use more power than you think you do. You use more power than you think you do. I thought I'm going to get away with just having a little griddle. I mean, let me do it like this. I thought I was going to get away, you know, having a little griddle, a little, uh, low watt air conditioning unit, you know, my laptop and my power tools that I'm working in here with little um 12 volt refrigerator now mind you all of this stuff is only pulling like 60 watts little bluetooth speaker so i'm out here jamming it, i'm really not using much you know but if you don't have enough solar panels let me let me back up if your solar power generator your spg if your spg does not let you bring in a significant amount of energy. Say I got a 2,000 watt, uh, a 2,000 watt solar power generator. Okay, wait a minute. Can you see me? Let me know if you can see me now. We, we good now? Hands in the dirt, yes, okay. I had about 20 apps open. On an old phone, I'm using my old phone. That's the reason why I'm heading to Georgia. I gotta go pick my phone up. Uh, 
what is, I'm trying to even remember the damn part of Georgia I gotta go to. So I don't know why I keep thinking Athens. But okay, here's the deal. You're gonna need, if you got a 2000 watt solar power generator, like the Energizer, I'm gonna be honest, make sure you have a big, at least thousand watt inverter in these things. This is why I say this, because if you only have a 300 watt inverter, and that means you can only be bringing in 300 watts from your solar panels, you got a 2000 watt generator, you using 1500 watts, and it's only bringing in 300 watts, you're going to lose, it's going to deplete itself real fast because you can't bring in enough power. And you plan on that fine line of bringing in enough power without blowing the damn thing up because if, if you go with a off-brand and you're not sure about their, um, their backup safety, you know, it'll shut off, then you're really risking it. So you always playing this fine little dance with off-brand type generators um, for blowing up your doggone thing. I say get them a, a big generator that can bring in at least at least 600 watts at the very least if you're gonna do it. And then I'm gonna turn around and say make sure you have enough solar panels that can bring in that full 600 watts. Bring in that full 600 watts. You don't got nothing to lose, okay? If, if you don't need that energy, you don't need that surplus, go ahead, run your doggone air conditioning unit. Go ahead, play your music. Go ahead, use your, your griddle. Go ahead and, and use a little of that power when you got a surplus of it. Use that energy to power up your other generators. You gotta, it's, it's like a game. I'm constantly playing the scramble jam with the generators. Like, okay, I got that one powered that one. That one is full. Grab this one. Switch that out. Put this over here. Grab that. Boom, boom, boom. I want them all mobile. Now, I can have an on grid unit set somewhere in the corner on the wall. I don't want that. But this is, and I, I'll play with the idea of even building us another system after all these years. Build another system because hell, I ain't go, this ain't going nowhere unless I'm going to put it on some of my land. This ain't going nowhere unless I pick it up and going to move it somewhere. So I might just build another system after all these years and this time I, I ain't talking about Harbor Freight. I'll probably be listening to, uh, what's his name, uh, Will Prowse or whatever his name is, that guy. I may, may have to call him up and say, hey man, holla at me. And uh, get me going, building a, a real system, not a Harbor Freight system. Uh, so, okay, any questions before I go? I didn't want it to be this long, but I just wanted everybody to know, please. Yeah, Will, Will, I'm going to say this. He know what he's he know what he doing. He know what he's talking about. Will Prowse, he know what he's talking about. That's, I'm going must, I to must leave that right there. So, I say get a solar power generator and go get you a good gas generator too. Don't just buy one or the other. This Honda, this Honda, hey, Hoodstead. What's up, sister? This Honda generator sips gas. Sips it. So yesterday, just I'm going to show you another picture of it. I'm trying to make it so the screen don't go black. This Honda generator is 2,000 watt and got a 2,000 watt inverter. So I had this running literally all yesterday. I had to leave so I cut it off but then I cut it back on. 
this morning, early this morning, so I can start charging all of my equipment again. Let me show you. Remember, when we first started, this is perfect. I've only been on for 40, 45 minutes, right? When we first started this live, my EcoFlow 1800 only had 1%. It only had 1%. I'm at 51% power right now. It's using 1,048 watts, charging it up, supercharging it that fast. So I'm going to have a full tank, a full battery bank in about another half an hour or so. And it's all charging off that Honda. It ain't plugged up to solar right now. It's plugged up to that Honda through a drop cord. And it's, it's, charging, it's charging my energizer. My energizer is charging a little energizer. All of that's off the, the Honda. Once, once I'm in chill mode and I'm like, okay, the sun is out. The sun is shining bright. I'm going to put a link in for everything, y'all. Once the sun is shining bright, I'm going to let everything coast for the rest of the day on solar so I can conserve my gas because gas is expensive. It ain't no, None of this stuff is nothing to play with. I'm prioritizing and I'm working this like a DJ. Um, how would you store that power for the winter? You need as many batteries or solar power generators as you can. What do you mean store the power for the winter? I don't understand that. You need you need a storage system like either a battery bank or more generators. If it's a gas generator, you don't store energy. It makes its energy while it's while it's on. Thank you, Black Tropical Homestead. Hey, hands in the dirt. Say I I gotta get me one of those Honda generators. Listen, I'm not knocking no other generator. But I do know one thing. It ain't a generator on the market this quiet. Ask anybody. There is not another gas generator this doggone quiet. When I go in the house, I cannot hear that generator. So that means if I can't hear it right by my house, that also means my neighbors don't hear it. So think about that. The only reason we hear it now is because it's coming in and echoing in this shell. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to walk you out here and I'm going to get real close. Hey, Reba Patterson. I'm going to get real close and show you how loud... Um, and show you how loud the actual generator really is. Watch this. And I'm going to talk to you in a monotone. I'm going to keep talking. This is how much more quieter it got. Now it's on a full load. And you can hear me right now. Can y'all hear me okay? I'm going to stand right on top of it. Can you hear me? I'm going to show you exactly where my face is. And I'm going to show you exactly how close I You see how close I am to that. This is how close I am to the phone. Can you still hear me? Can you still hear me? Can you still hear me? Now watch this, I'm gonna just flip the phone over. Oh, I'm sorry, it said orientation was off, hold on. Can you, can you still hear me? Watch this. It's right here. My foot is right on it. And I'm gonna show you me where I am right here. I'm right here. You can still hear me. My face ain't. This is my hand from the from the camera. That's a Honda for you. As I walk away, it's just gonna get quieter. One, two, three step, four step, five step, six step, seven step. I'm in the I'm in the den. But now, see how it echoes in this shed? You could be standing right on top of that sucker 
and if you, you won't disturb nobody else on a campsite or in your neighborhood. That's why I went with Honda. It sips gas, it's one of the most efficient, and it's quiet. That's why. The Ryobi 3500 watt gas runs for six hours. And here's another thing about, about this Honda. I got extension gas. Y'all seen those. I did, a, I did a video about it. I got extensions. Uh, each one is, is it eight gallons? It's either eight, six or eight gallon extensions. No, no, those is 10 gallons. I got two 10 gallon extensions that you can piggyback each other and run that. So this tank holds like a gallon or a gallon and a half of fuel. It'll run all freaking night. Now, if I run 10, 20 gallons of fuel piggybacked off each other, it'll last forever. So I've showed y'all the video of that already. Man, you can't, you can't lose, man. You can't lose. Say your wind, <clears throat> wind super, super quiet. Don't you know? I keep like I said. I've done so much research on generators, gas generators that I like or or thought about. <clears throat> Don't nothing beat no Honda, man. I'm sorry. I'm and every person, every test. Think about it. Every test, they're testing and going up against. Can it beat the Honda? Can it beat the Honda? Everybody is making sure their quality is up to standard. Think about that. Think about it. Everybody is testing their quality against Honda. Every other company and every other YouTube video is, here's a new product I got, but can it beat the Honda? It's the same as Jackery, Blue Eddy, and EcoFlow. Everybody compares everything they got, all of these other brands, to those. Everybody tries to copy a Honda generator. You will find a knockoff Honda generator, or a knockoff Blue Eddy, or a knockoff Eco, no, nah, EcoFlow ain't got no knockoff. A knockoff Jackery. Those are, the, those are the powerhouses that everybody is comparing themselves to because they are that slick. How much was mine? That, that ain't gonna make no difference. I bought mine, what was it, three years ago. I don't know what they cost now. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna buy another one. Yeah, they chasing that Honda generator quality and performance. It's hard to beat, man. I said, for, if you're gonna buy a cheaper one, right? And I'm again, I'm not knocking them. But if you only like a hundred dollars cheaper two hundred dollars cheaper and i'm still rolling the dice on you i might as well just go ahead and say okay i'm not doing that extra thing i was gonna do next week because i'm gonna go ahead and invest some real money in something that's been quality my entire almost 50 years of life on this planet everybody i knew growing up had a honda generator and when my dad passed away guess what he had a Honda generator that I had from my childhood. Did it work? Hell yeah, it still worked. Back then, they used to look like the little tailgating, tailgating generator with little gauges on them, real, you know. They never stopped, man. They never stopped. Never. That's why when I went looking for a generator, I was thinking about pinching my pocket like, mm, do I really want to do it? No, do my wife said this is my wife said this to me. She said, "Didn't you say our life might be dependent on it?" Yeah. So why would you take a guess? Why would you try to take a gamble on something that you don't know anything about? But did you say your dad had a Honda your whole life and it never ever ever failed? Yeah. I would. She said I would take a a gamble on the knowledge of that product in the past never having an issue. You don't know about today, how what they've done to it, but you still know their past record was the bomb. 
Why would you take a chance on something now you don't have a clue? Thank you, hands in the dirt. So yeah, you don't have a clue. So that's which way I'm going. Please get your gas generator along with your solar generator. And some of this is not just for a tiny home. Some of this is for grid down situation. This what I'm doing here is partially grid down situation. You don't know. You don't know what's about to happen. So I've been practicing every day, right in here. I've been in here. I've been in here all day. So if you don't know what's about to happen, you better pull your stuff out, use it, practice with it. Some people, some folks don't even know how to hook their uh, solar panels up. Some folks don't even know how to uh, hook up their solar panels. They don't know parallel to in line they don't know the difference but they got a generator somewhere in the house in a box they got about three or four solar panels in the garage in a box and they don't they have not tried to run their solar panels in line or run them uh they're not trying anything so they're waiting on the emergency they're waiting on the emergency to try to figure this stuff out you can't read instructions in the dark. And lighters will burn your thumb. You keep holding the paper up like, uh, it says, um, uh, no, no, no. That's it. That's in Chinese. Wait, wait, wrong piece of paper. Wait. You better start trying to figure out your stuff right now. I mean, hook it up. Hook it up. Because I'm going to tell you what I changed. Small generators are great. I would say the smallest I would go is like this Energizer P320. I would go around 300 watts and up. Some people ask me this question. Should I get a 2,000 watt generator? Yes. Yes. Because the little ones are for little things like USB fans and running your refrigerator freezer. But you need that heavy hitter on, you need that heavy hitter for big reality stuff. These big generate solar power generators, SPGs to make it quicker, these uh, bigger SPGs, you can charge all of your smaller SPGs long as you got enough power coming to these, you can piggyback and charge your smaller ones off of that. So you don't have to have a whole nother panel grid for everything. So I'm going to be putting the Energizer PPS 2000 and the Blue Eddy AC 200P. I'm going to have that running this whole thing now. So, okay, let me see. We got two minutes, less than two minutes, and then I'm going to shoot out of here. Said, my husband purchased a 95 Honda for my daughter in college. It's still going. That's, it'll, it'll work. It'll last forever. Say, do not skimp. Do not skimp out on the inverter. 400 watt inverter can run a box fan for barely an hour. That's it off one battery. Um, no, not that's the battery bank, and that's not true. Your your box fan, which I got right here, that this Lasco fan, that's not quite true, my friend. I see what what you're trying to get at, but not quite. This is running 68 watts on low, and it's running 72 watts on high. I had a big square box fan out here. That hey, baby, good morning, honey. Look at, uh oh, look who showed up. My baby is home. Okay, I'm, re I'm about to get ready. This is perfect timing. Perfect timing. So that's over four hours to run a box fan. Your inverter, 
is not the same as your battery bank. Your battery bank, what you looking for? Black napkins. Uh, here, I got a towel, huh? That's clean. That's okay. So your battery bank is what you need. How much battery storage do you have? That's the key. Your battery storage. You see my babies? I'm up. So I think we, we about done with the solar. Ugh. Scoot over, honey. Move your little pretty toes. Scoot that thing. Scoot that thing over. Move that thing over. Welcome home, honey. So we, I still got my pajamas on. I should have been ready. I just wanted to tell the people, this Honda generator is a beast. It's charged everything in the, in the shed. Cause you know it been cloudy for a couple of days. Let me sip that coffee. Wait, you sound like you had already been had too much coffee. I haven't though. But you sound like it. But I haven't. So. This coffee, I was falling asleep. Hey, Pooh Bear, what's going on? Hey, Kelly. Kelly Homesteady. Hey, Starduster. Hey, y'all. Hey, video to view. See, you don't even want my coffee. Cut it out. She always be putting those secret herbs and spices in her coffee. Stevia. It ain't just Stevia. She put all kind of stuff in there. Let me see. If you have a good size power bank, that Jenny can help charge it as well. Yeah, very true. Very true. Stardust said, much love, y'all. So, okay. I'm going to get out of here because I got to get ready. What part of Georgia? I don't know why I can't think of it. Augusta. I'm on my way to Augusta, Georgia. I kept saying Athens. Athens. I don't know. Don't ask me. I could not think of that. See, I ain't had no coffee. That's why. Augusta, Georgia. I got to go to Augusta, Georgia and get my dog on phone. So, you ready to ride, honey? Your hair was just covering it up like Sunny. it's blowing in the wind like, like the hay in the wind. Let me get a hey be rich. Uh let me get out of here, y'all. Alright. So Land Farmer 73. We we thank you, uh Seattle girl. Hey Brit Mai. It, hey Brit Mai. It's gonna be more of these videos coming and I'm about to start cracking on this garden and getting it ready for the fall. Um What's y'all's number one voice of large generators? You know what? I can't speak on that. I can only speak on what I got. So far, this Energizer PPS 2000 and the Blue Eddy AC200P, hands down, hands down, is it. With all, with all the generators I have, I have generators I haven't even shown you yet. No. Nothing, nothing right now is messing with the Blue Eddy AC200P, I mean, uh, AC200, yeah, or the Energizer PPS2000. Nothing to me that I own is touching those. But I'm going to tell you, after owning this EcoFlow Delta 1800, after owning that one, I still don't like the river. I still don't like the river. They sent it back and it's working. I, it done. It had too many glitches for me. The EcoFlow River. I'm going to give that. A, I wouldn't do it. Go a step above. Go and get a uh, a Delta. Start in the Delta family of the EcoFlow. Um, I'm really loving this this Delta EcoFlow 1800. Yeah. And to be honest with you, I'm going to say this before I go again. I'm a, I'm a Closet Jackery fan. I don't like to talk about it, but 
my Jackery 500 that I got years ago. Them Jackeries, I know they ain't up to par and got all the bells and whistles like all the other generators, but them Jackeries is like magic, man. Oh, somebody said my hair is gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I use Beautiful Nest TV's body butter on it. And it gives us this sheen and gloss and glow. So I really appreciate that. Listen, hear, hear the Honda tuning down? Listen, it done quieted down even more because it ain't running such a heavy load. It, it must be done with that eco flow. I don't like that. Uh -huh. So yeah. Yeah, it's really smooth and silky. You know, I, I do my best, you know. I try to take care of myself. So everybody, thank you so much. And thank you, Starduster, too. Everybody, thank you for the donations. Thank you for looking out for me. Thank you for coming to hang out with me. We're going to do this again because now I'm going to start talking about my favorite solar panels. Y'all, if you're looking into solar, I'm going to tell you, I'm not even going to say nothing. I'm just going to show you real quick and then I'm out. Look. Out of all the solar panels I got, not you, I, I, I didn't mean to hit that thing. Out of all the solar panels that I have, they're all in the, in the pile of rubble that I got over here. I'm going to come show you. I'm going to come show you. I'm cleaning the garden out. I'm, I'm about to get rid of everything. As y'all can see, here go all my chicken, my chicken, I mean, my bunny cages put together and ready to go. But out of all of my solar panels that I got, I'm not even using them. Why not? I'm going to tell you why. Hands down, hands down, I'm going to put the link in the description of what my favorite solar panels are. I'm not going to tell you right now. I'm just going to tell you in the next video. Everybody have a wonderful time. Come back for that next video and I'm going to show you what I hands down swear by. And the only thing I, I'm right now, I'm using powering up my doggone shed. What solar panels? I'm going to tell you all about my favorite solar panels and my favorite uh, generators so far. Lead Farmer 73 and the beautiful Lady Lady. We love you and we out. See y'all in Augusta. Peace.